knowledge base of people that you have here working here. I mean, talk about that a little bit. We do. It's, it's a, you know, Todd alluded to it earlier. It's a fantastic crew here. Uh, a lot of people have worked for the seafood markets for a long time. You know, they know the ins and outs of the seafood business from a retailing standpoint. We have people in the stores that have worked, you know, the fishing boats, uh, either here locally, um, or they've worked, you know, fishing boats up in Alaska. We have people in the company that have, you know, run oyster packing houses, ice houses, you know, crab picking facilities. You know, we have all that shared knowledge, you know, in our in, within our company. So as we're developing products, as we're sourcing products, as we're selling products, you know, we can go to internal sources to get the training material we need, get the education material we need for the people. We have a long uh, history, so we know where the industry has been, where it's come from, you know, when it has up and it's down, what's caused those ups and downs. And, um, and we're also starting to get ourselves a little bit active politically to see, you know, how can we help to nurture the Bay and you know, make sure that it's there for all of us in the future, you know. It's really important for us from an industry standpoint to make sure that Bay stays healthy and we can kind of keep sourcing product out of it. And, and uh, important for the watermen that we work with, that they can sustain themselves and, and maintain their family and maintain their industry. Right. Um, you know, I think there's something like four or six crab picking houses left now in Maryland when there used to be, you know, in the 50s or the 100s. You know, just, wow. The industry's just dying off and just a lot of people have gotten out of it you know, for one reason or another. We're seeing how can we partner with them to make their business more sustainable and give them a market to sell their product. Yeah.